Good day, everyone. Welcome to Regional Climate Change Online uh, Training on Enhancing Regional Capacity of NDC Implementation and MRV Framework Assessment. Today, I would like to talk on the topic of the important perspective to formulate mitigation measures to achieve NDC in uh, Southeast ASEAN country but under economy-wide and policy level measure. So outline of my talk today for this section that consists of uh, three modules. First is mitigation mechanism and NDC implementation. Second is formulating mitigation measure and GSG emission reduction evaluation. And the last is MRV of mitigation measure and preparation for MRV implementation. All of uh, these uh, three uh, sections already in uh, what textbook, I, I think uh, CDC and CICA already provide right, this textbook online, right? uh, three chapter, right? one, two, three, right? respectively. And uh, in my slide today, uh, I will follow that section. Okay, starting from section 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, so 1.1, 1 .1, uh, the topic already like consistent with the topic in uh, what the textbook mitigation. 1.1.1, mitigation mechanism for pre-2020. Like those who already read the detail in the textbook, you may give uh, what the question online and I will answer like after that. So as you know that mitigation under Kyoto Protocol like uh, the convention uh, apply the principle of common but differentiated responsibility. Like common mean we have the common target, like obligation, like two degree, like that is objective of the F two C. But differentiated responsibility mean like any one or drop country will what read like the mitigation action or support like technology or financial support. And then uh, dropping country or non one country like uh, will just add, receive that support. Okay, and maybe for some advanced dropping country can go together with drop country like for what achievement or what mitigation target. So the Kyoto Protocol said binding emission reduction target for what? Industrial country or one country, like binding mean have to do like the protocol to do three innovative mechanism. First is what CDM, like stand for clean domain mechanism. Okay, and as you know that uh, as of uh, July, like uh, last year, the total like certified emission reduction target like issue like around. 2 million like, uh, ton of CO2 equivalent. Uh, second is what the joint like, implementation and the last is international emission trading. Okay, so for dropping country like in Southeast Asian country, like, we normally like uh, familiar with uh, CDM. Right, because CEM right, is the project between uh, what drop and dropping country. Okay, joint implementation and uh, training, right, we uh, do not have such experience. Right. The other mechanism include joint creative mechanism initiated by Japanese government. You can see that uh, Japan side will provide low carbon technology, low emission technology. Okay to the whole country. The whole country receive uh, what uh, support, okay? And uh, the JCA project will what create emission reduction. Right? Emission reduction will undergo what uh, MRV measurement reporting verification. Okay, and once we have emission reduction, credit will be shared. That's why you see two arrows, okay? of the credit to Japan and the host country. There are other mechanisms like such as like 
Thailand Voluntary Emission Reduction Program or TVER. Uh, in the beginning, TVER tried to follow Japan, like JVER. But unfortunately, due to like uh, the requirement of JVER, very strict, like, very strict as we know, like, because Japan is a dropped country. Uh, so that's why we relax some uh, what requirement in uh, what emission deduction evaluation. Okay, May give more flexibility. So that's why like uh, TVER like is more what uh, simple compared to what JVER or even uh, more simple compared to CDM. Okay, so JVER is a domestic mechanism like uh, under supervision of what TGO, Ministry of Natural Resource Movement of Thailand. The section 1.1.2, Paris like, Agreement and the rule book and NEC implement uh, mitigation mechanism for post-2020. As you know that Paris Agreement uh, have uh, what the key article, okay? The general article one, uh, article two is the what the long term Temperature goal is very important. Article 2 mentioned about uh, what the 2 degree. Okay, that is our target. Okay. Article 4 is global peaking. Right. Article 4 states that to achieve uh, what this temperature goal, 2 degree, even 1.5 degree, the party aim to reach what the global peaking of greenhouse gas emission as soon as possible. Recognizing peaking will take longer for dropping country. Right. For the long-term strategy, so this is one of the requirements of the UN FWC. Like, long-term strategy in accordance with Article 4, Paragraph 19 of Paris Agreement uh, say that all the parties what, uh, should what, formulate and communicate long-term low emission in how gas like emission development strategy to UN FWC. As uh, we know that uh, this year, several countries now uh, dropping like this kind of long-term strategy. Okay, some country, even some country may submit to the FTC by the end of this year. Right. And NDC, like mentioned in Article 4, okay, so NDC or nationally determined contribution, like are uh, what mandatory under Article 4 of Paris scheme. In, like the, the party of uh, the FTC shall communicate like NDC every five years. So uh, at this moment, like all what ASEAN country already communicate, like the first NDC to do it at the Okay, uh, some ASEAN country, like some Southeast uh, ASEAN country, Southeast ASEAN country uh, this year, as you know, uh, already agree what the target for the second NDC of their own country and preparing for submission to an advocacy by the end of this year. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, the party have to communicate, like, and provide information for clarity and timely. So that means when the party uh, say that the target of NDC 20, such as 20, uh, 30 or 35, emission deduction target of the country will be such as for example, 40% or 50% like of BAU or in terms of carbon, even carbon intensity, like that country have to provide information necessary like for clarity and transparency. So that means like uh, the party have to provide some information. That's why the rule book require the party to provide information on how like uh, NEC will calculate it, okay, including Quantity favor information like reference point, measure timing, scope, and how the party consider that NEC is fair and ambitious. That fair and ambitious to what the party itself or even to the region, like for example. Of course, one thing in uh, what uh, NEC under fairness and uh, ambitious is what in the right of what national circumstance. Okay. If uh, the party national uh, situation like is not good, like economic not good, the party may uh, mention that reason. Uh, and Article Six of Paris Agreement mentioned about the market and non-market approach. Okay, this 
article right is uh, still under negotiation okay unfortunately right, the copy this year put on to next year adaptation under article 7 and global stock take under article 14 right and global stake, uh, stock take under article 14 mentioned that stock uh, take will be taken paid like in 2023 and every five year thereafter okay so that means uh, information for uh, the COP in uh, 2023 is very important like uh, to make what uh, decision especially the emission gap analysis okay from global stock take the significant characteristic of Paris Agreement, uh, as you know, that uh, Paris Agreement have specific significant characteristic to achieve long-term goal. First, is the framework, right? Framework to deal uh, what you know get emission. Second, that right, is the bottom-up approach in the NDC. So that's why you can see that uh, some countries provide really detail like in NDC. That is bottom-up approach and the time policy of uh, what Paris Agreement, like the plan, like of Paris Agreement, the review process under what uh, time policy framework and global stock take. Right? So uh, what are next three documents to be submitted to what you in FWC? Right? Uh, I, I, I highlight here, you can see that for the big country, like Southeast Asian team, we have to communicate or submit like national communication by any update report or BUR for annex one country we call by annual report BR. And we have to submit Kinao Gaimandori as part of national communication and by any update report. Okay. So you can find all the detail like this section 1.1.2, the box 1.1, like in uh, mitigation textbook that provide by CGC and uh, Gemini uh, This table show you what the information that uh, the Southeast Asian country communicate like uh, national communication and by the update report to the FTC. You can see that Brunei already communicate NC2, okay? Even Cameroon, okay? Uh, Cambodia, the same NC2. Like Indonesia, NC3. Lao NC2, Malaysia NC3, Myanmar, uh, that Myanmar NC1, uh, due to some limitation of the country. The Philippines uh, NC2, okay, but Singapore very advanced, already moved to NC4. Thailand still in NC3, okay, Timor NC1. Vietnam, like NC3, okay. And uh, this inform information the table tell you what IBC guideline that the party that like, use in calculation of kilo gas inventory. We will talk in detail, like in uh, the module of kilo gas inventory. Like you can uh, go to what listen to that uh, section. Like so for NDC, like the first NDC are uh, what heterogeneous. What does it mean? Or oh, if you lead and is the first NDC. Uh, of the party, like in doing FCC website, you see, like each country we try to elaborate the detail, like of what their own action, okay, that we call heterogeneous, like heterogeneous, like and implementation of NDC can also what support sustainable development goal or SDG. So this is very important that. Uh, what the consequence of NDC will what help the country to meet SDG like across all sector and the level of the government. Okay, so this table show you uh, next three information to be included in NDC. Okay, so the FTC provide what the guideline information, what information that we should include in NDC. Okay, third is what you can see the column, the left column, third is what. Uh, internationally communicated pre-2020 GHG emission reduction plan. Okay, second is national objective and priority. Okay, number three is what? Uh, the current GHG emission profile of the country. Number four is the current mitigation activity. Number five is projected future emission under BAU. 
来，因为有啊，没有 ，OK， 啊 ，approach。Okay, number six is next three of mitigation potential, and number seven relative to global to the key target, and number eight is what resort, what mobilization strategy. Okay, so all information like the uh that is uh, the guideline for the party to communicate like in uh, NDC to NDC. Okay, all party are required to submit what the next round of NDC. Okay, by 2020. So that means uh, NDC1 already submit like in year 2015. Five year now 2020. Like uh, as I know that uh, many Southeast Asian country now already conclude what uh, detail at the target of second NDC. Okay, and prepare for submission to what you had to see. Okay, including Thailand. Uh, the develop uh, country party what should continue taking the lead by setting economy wide absolute emission reduction target. So very hard to do like for economy wide absolute emission target. Why uh, dropping country? That means all Southeast Asian country like should continue enhancing like our mitigation effort. Okay, and move toward economy wide emission reduction. Like, or limitation target like in our own capability. Okay, so I have calculated like uh, what ASEAN country can contribute in emission gap. Okay, you can see that according to world emission gap, like the world emission gap that report by UNEP, like United Nations say that like uh, to achieve two degree by the year 2030, to degree pathway, like uh, the unconditional NDC scenario, you can see emission higher. So emission gap is around 15 gigaton or 15,000 million ton. The Y conditional NDC scenario, such uh, as Thailand uh, submit uh, first NDC say that 20% need a target. That is unconditional. Conditional for the get of Thailand is 25%. Right? So higher level, apart. If it's gap, will be lower. Okay. So if it's a gap for the case of conditional NDC scenario, like for the world is 13 like gigaton or 13,000 million ton. Okay. So this information I calculate using uh, what share of uh, emission in inventory of Southeast Asian country to the world. Like, and then we found that like uh, Southeast Asian country, like, uh, have to contribute like to achieve uh, the two degree pathway like uh, 600 million ton of CO2 like for conditional and under conditional you have to contribute 700 million ton it's quite a lot because at this moment set at the case of Thailand like we uh, promise that for unconditional like first in the city like it only 100 million ton Okay, other country in South Asia, I think the same. Like, so the missing emission, like missing emission or emission gap, like 700 million ton, like by the year 2030, very hard to do, like not easy, like to achieve. Okay. Uh, the next section is 1.1.3 mitigation policy instrument. Okay, economic instrument, like, consists of what uh, here are specific uh, mitigation policy uh, measure consist of integrated climate policy in the what border development policy uh, regulation and standard tax and charge tradable permit financial incentive voluntary agreement information instrument research development and demonstration okay all we can say uh, what economic instrument like so this example so for energy supply sector mitigation policy such as deduction of fossil fuel subsidy like tax or carbon charge on fossil fuel okay carbon tax okay where sector financial incentive okay and other building like, and so on so this the uh, uh, world map show you what uh, how what the world like by region implement okay 
economic instrument. Okay, so you can see that uh, what North America, North America already adopt and implement like uh, both what uh, carbon tax and emission uh, trading scheme depending on situation of the country. Okay, like uh, Europe, like you can see the Europe, like. Of course, Europe, as you know, they already have their own EU emission trading. Okay, but Scandinavian countries uh, have what very high what carbon tax policy, for example. Okay, Africa, like Africa, still what uh, you can see empty. Okay, South Asia also like, but if you look at Southeast Asian region, we can see Thailand, Vietnam. Singapore highlight, okay, uh, highlight uh, of what you can see uh, because of uh, uh, some of this country, Thailand, Vietnam, Singapore already implement carbon tax, okay. So the first is emission trading scheme, okay. Emission trading is sometimes referred to cap and trade, okay. And uh, the carbon tax then we set a pie on carbon by defying what the tax rate on greenhouse gas emission. Uh, the good economic instrument like to encourage renewable energy is feed in tariff. Okay, so feed in tariff is what a policy instrument to promote what uh, renewable energy utilization like for the long term. So the development of feed in tariff in Southeast Asian country, like you can see uh, this lesser learned normally like Thailand, like. Uh, almost be the premier. We start uh, what free tariff we call premium free tariff or adder like introduced in 2007. Okay, very long time ago. Okay, and uh, in 2015, like we learned that uh, the adder scheme of premium free tariff like quite expensive. Like so, we chip to change to concept of free tariff. Okay, free tariff. And at the time, the world exceed like. Investments to be lower than uh, before 2010. Okay, the Philippines explore in tariff in 2010. Okay, uh, and then uh, what set like make it active after 2012. Indonesia starts with tariff for zero what technology such as geothermal that quite well known. Okay, in Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam start with tariff in 2011. Okay, this uh, map show you the main of tariff in Southeast Asian country. Okay, and the timeline. Okay, uh, including Thailand, Vietnam, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia. For regulatory approach, like there are many what measure in regulatory approach that add minimum any performance standard, like. That local number five, like come from uh, what uh, Thailand. Okay, so Thailand we consider that electric device that receive what uh, label five that mean the most efficient that time. Of course, like with the time chain, set at number five of 2000 and number five of 2010, number five of 2020, different story. We got MC improvement. So number five. Like of the same electric device for 2020, like in terms of e saving or efficiency will be higher than number five of what the past. The second is renewable portfolio standard or RPAs. Like some country adopt like this concept, okay, RPA. And next is e efficiency resource standard ERA. Thailand tried to start ERA several years ago. Like at this moment. Uh, uh, what implementation of EERA in Thailand is going on? Like no report about what uh, the story of success or failure. Energy Conservation Act and building energy code or BC. Like many country like said building energy code. Of course, the premier in uh, Southeast Asian country is Singapore. Okay, that already have building energy code like uh, before the other country. Okay. Voluntary action, like set at high energy performance standard, HEPS. Okay, 
information program such as uh, eco labeling uh, certificate scheme for example okay uh, about NEC implementation in selected Southeast Asian country, uh, there are some case study that uh, what mitigation textbook uh, already include. So you see uh, mitigation textbook, okay, under section 1.1 priority, okay. And for the policy uh, policy level, that is uh, what the aim for 1.1 priority for project level. Next, we move to section 1.2, mitigation measure, implementation, and good practice of NDC. Okay, so we start with 1.2.1, mitigation measure in Southeast ASEAN NDC. The general banner and terrain like in mitigation action. Like in fact, there are many specific. Okay, uh, we already done like TNA. Like I think we need assessment for Southeast ASEAN country. Okay. And uh, enabling uh, policy, legislation, institutional framework, and record issue. Okay. Uh, knowledge, uh, knowledge management and capacity building. Like, of course, I think for knowledge management and capacity building, I recommend uh, CITC is a good example. And CITC can be uh, what the platform okay, for Southeast Asian country, like for the knowledge management, capacity building of climate change. Like, action management okay for key target inventory like as you know like up to now like the mode s1 is what thailand like in southeast asian country that thailand like is going to use what they call thailand key target emission like inventory system okay uh, uh using uh, the dna of uh ageas or australian key target emission information system. Okay, Australian side very advanced because they call information system. Okay, so what Thailand, uh, we receive the support. Okay, I think uh, what, let me see, from uh, ONIP, the focal point of Thailand, like uh, in this training workshop, we we'll, what, talk on the detail of uh, the TG and you see how TG very successful like to help what, you know, get inventory management. And what else for general barrier mitigation? Of course, like the most difficult one is like how to formulate. Formulation, financing, integrated assessment, all are what the common issue in what Southeast Asian country. Okay. So according to our discussion, like that means CDC and uh, the support like uh, from JICA, like so we provide this section Okay, the experience and lesson learned for for good practice for the smooth implementation of NEC in Southeast Asian country. So here are some good practice or tip we can see good practice or tip right, of NEC implementation. First is what review the current institutional arrangement. Okay, uh, we have to review like if we have good institutional arrangement, okay, that that is enough like to go ahead. In turn, we have to go back to set up like uh, institution. Second is establish NDC implementation coordination team. Like so, we should have uh, what uh, coordination team, okay? And NDC coordination team, like of course, like normally, like uh, uh, what uh, will uh, uh, have to report to the focal point of the country, and uh, coordination team can be by sector, such as. Uh, power sector, transport sector, industrial sector, something like that. And set up institutional arrangement. Okay, if uh, the country have good institutional arrangement for inventory, now it's really easy for what? Uh, NDC. Number four is underwrite national mitigation policy priority sector. Okay, I will tell you how. Okay, uh, find out opportunity life of mitigation. Number five is design mitigation policy. And number six is engage stakeholder. This is very important that not only dropping country, but also drop country. Like stakeholder, very important. I think uh, for dropping country, uh, stakeholder more important. Like if we ignore dropping uh, what uh, stakeholder, like especially uh, private sector, like uh, some mitigation might not be what uh, success. 
โอเคแต่ว่าเซเว่นอีดคอนดักดีเทลเอพรีเซอร์ออฟเดอะพายอร์ตี้แอคชั่นฟอร์เดอะคีย์เซกเตอร์ไอ้นี่มีนีดอินพุตฟอร์มโพลิซีเมเกอร์นับว่าเอกอีดแอคเซสฟินแลนซิ่งฟอร์มดิเกชั่นแอคชั่นโอเคติชคอยฮาร์ดไปติชคอยฮาร์ดสำคัญที่เซเดนเดย์ครับจะดูมิติเกชั่นแอคชั่นฟาร์ดิชึงเดอะโอนโดเมสติกฟินแลนซ์นับว่านาอีดวอตคาร์บัสตี้บิลดิ้งนับว่าเทนอีดวอตดิฟล็อปเดอะลีกอลเฟรมเบอร์โอเคนับว่าเอเลเวนอีดวอต implementation of mitigation policy number 12 is set up institutional arrangement for coordination and number 13 is design and what implement mitigation MRV we have to highlight MRV because some uh, experts still meet understand MRV only for uh, in organic inventory right so we have to clear that MRV of inventory is different from MRV of mitigation Number 14 is what preparation for the next NDC. So we may simply adopt PDCA, Plan Do Check Act. Okay, very simple, like at common sense, like uh, in uh, what the general business process, like Plan Do Check Act, like to improve what the quality of mitigation, like for NDC implementation. That is uh, the chapter one. So we have to go quickly. Well, we got to consume a lot of time. Right. Uh, chapter two in mitigation workbook. Uh, uh, this plan formulating mitigation measure and GHG reduction evaluation. Oh, here are the section. Okay, I try to what keep the time. Section two point one point one identification of next r e f o r m a t i o n viewpoint to find opportunity. I recommend that that uh, we may use what. The technique is what you key category analysis in national k i n o g a t inventory. This is example like table from Thailand k i n o g a t inventory from the website of u n f c Right, you can see that I will see uh, category code 1 a 1 a that mean public electricity and heat production share or in terms of inventory 27 Okay, the second biggest like emission t h o u g t is road transport share 18.4. Followed by manufacturing industry, you can see that no one, two, three, like occupy more than half of all. Okay, so from key c a t e g o r analysis now, like we uh, we we'll, we'll know that uh, the last what emission s o u r c that is opportunity for mitigation. If like we have such technology or if we know how to manage. Okay, so I go to look at uh, what you know, get inventory of Vietnam. In UN f w c like website, okay. The report say that like for Vietnam, right, cultivation the largest 14.5, but um, uh, Vietnam may say, oh, we have to reserve the right activity, so we will skip. I think this is common for the same of uh, many country in uh, Southeast Asian country that uh, like we may skip what uh, agriculture sector. Energy industry is the second, like cement. Oh, so that mean uh, at this moment there are many cement like company like in Vietnam. That why cement production share 9.6 percent. Okay, road transport. I think this good, quite low, 9.1. Like I heard that Vietnam uh, Vietnamese government already launched what. Uh, electric train like system. I think if it successful, it will help the country. What to keep emission from what uh, passenger like transport like rover. Okay, we got all the mass transit is very efficient one. Okay, so if we look at inventory of Indonesia, you see that energy industry number one, thirty percent very large, followed by transport sector seventeen percent. Okay, so uh, from key category of uh, what inventory that already what i m p a i what opportunity for mitigation because of large emission source. Okay, what else the technique is to find out mitigation opportunity use existing policy. Okay, so now if we look at the country start from what alphabet blue nine. Brunei existing policy mention electricity tariff reform, 
what ng white paper what existing action technology you can see a lot so these are opportunity for mitigation followed by Cambodia okay you can see the detail form a uh, mitigation textbook in this section 2.1.1 round the same even Malaysia highlight a lot okay all are the opportunity for mitigation okay Myanmar Philippines Thailand okay number three like how to identify or find out opportunity for mitigation good domestic resort okay potential so that the case of Thailand like we have study okay and we found that energy efficiency such as the third the measure for this stated factory or building management under building code okay or control factory okay uh, all you can see can save energy up to 5156 kilo ton of oil current what it last the total you can see if you sum up the total that quite huge in terms of in saving so this is what the saving potential like for the FCC plant of Thailand like and then you we may also look at what uh, the potential of uh, alternative energy just at Thailand okay you can see like uh, Thailand launched alternative energy development plan 2018 okay you can see very ambitious uh, the new target under ADP 2018 for solar PV 15,000 megawatt very high biomass 5,000 megawatt wind 3,000 and so on okay the total for uh, remote electricity for Thailand if we can achieve like the planning target 33 percent you can see really very really high higher than uh, the first NDC like of Thailand okay all are the opportunity like of uh, what mitigation under what romantic resource like uh, for your own country that you can identify opportunity of mitigation from these what plan okay so the next section is 1.1.2 education of information resource so the type of information useful for dropping mitigation like contribution like the type of information you can see in the first column start form i think this is the same exactly the same as what uh, information that you in ethnic recommend like when we that when the party prepare what ndc for mitigation i think exactly the same like first is what information okay update of the country uh, current situation of the country mitigation activity and what the future project emission or policy emission okay and like leadership like uh to what global warming 1.5 degree okay uh the section 1.1.3 the good practice of information collection here are what the guideline for the possible result of country specific data such as for the national we may use national statistic agency okay sectoral expert okay and reference library something like that even ibc for international apart like the good reference source is ibc emission factor database okay you have to use that one okay and some international agency such as iea oecd okay IMF, FAO, okay other apart we need uh, what to look at uh, what uh, official like uh, reference or uh, official uh, cited like document okay for section 2.2 education application policy okay 2.2.1 possible mitigation policy in NDC possible mitigation policy you can see policy category first is like the price control like policy instrument such as carbon tax for entirely for example and so on okay so this very really good like uh, table summarize like possible mitigation policy okay that the country may use what uh, to implement okay so this is policy level mitigation measure in southeast asian country 
Okay, uh, I just make a summary and highlight here. You can see uh, what else? Brunei, Brunei have building eco. Okay, eco level. You can see that information program is very good. Eco leveling, ah, uh, eco leveling. Uh, most of the country has. Cambodia, um, uh, I, 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 I don't have information. Information busy. For those participants from Cambodia, if like you have, if you know, like. I can send me what uh, the document or uh, reference so I can put like uh, update like uh, CDC Jaika textbook. Okay, like the missing information. Uh, Indonesia, uh, of course, we entirely equilibrium. La equilibrium. Myanmar, information missing. Uh, I cannot find. Like for participants from Myanmar, like if like you have and you know, like just send me. Okay, that information and reference. Okay, like I will put an update, like mitigation textbook of CDC and JICA and so on. Okay. So section 2.3, evaluation of greenhouse gas emission reduction and other benefits. You can see 2.3.1, estimation of GHG emission reduction potential. Like we have the step, you can see, like uh, first, we have to set up action day baseline scenario. That means the top one before mitigation, okay, and what policy scenario after mitigation. You see the uh, different, the different is GHG effect mitigation from the policy of action, okay. So the step start from you can see the four uh, line column. Overall step define objective, define policy, identify effect. And estimate effect. That means estimate emission reduction in terms of how many million ton uh, of CO2 reduction and modify. That is the uh, modification we talk in chapter three MRV and report. Okay, like uh, there are many co benefit like from greenhouse gas mitigation, such as uh, benefit like on economic, it is on health impact. Society and technology. So, community will come, like you can see the idea of overlap. Okay, it can be air pollution, water pollution, solid waste. Okay, in uh, the textbook under section 2.3.2, I already uh, provide a summary of many studies like, regarding co benefit by sector or by action with the reference you can see. Okay, in the textbook. 4.2 cost estimation and budget planning. Okay. 2.2.3 information of uh, budget financial resource for mitigation. Uh, I would like to highlight that uh, normally we have domestic budget and international what public finance. Of course, for domestic budget, uh, the link is very low, almost stable, but number of money very limited. <laughs> If we need, need a huge like money project, we have to go to international, such as green climate finance. But the risk is very high. Okay, risk means like uh, we may not receive that support, for example. Okay. Uh, so uh, the table in this section 2.3.4.3, uh, I already give for financial resource, characteristic, political, and the risk like, of the finance. The last section in uh, our mitigation textbook is MRV of mitigation measure and preparation for MRV implementation. So we have three sections. As you know that MRV stands for measurement or monitoring of what? In how get emission reduction. Okay. We need reporting, modification and what? Measurement. Okay. At the cycle. Okay. So like this is the MRE framework recommended by what? Uh, UNF to follow your FTC decision. Like you can see that we have international MRV under national competition NC, BUR, and we have ICA, international consultancy and analysis. Okay, for domestic MRV inside the country. Okay, uh, so we have domestic MRV voluntary, such as NAMA. Okay, uh, report on domestic MRV in the BUR. Okay, and you can find out the decision of the court. Okay, in the FPC. 
F R V four uh what R E D D plus okay. So uh in terms of F R V framework, as you know, uh there is a good document that Jaika support uh Vietnam few years ago regarding what M R V process. Okay, I would like to repeat here. So this is the step of MRV of mitigation action that JICA uh, expert what work out with what with the Miss government. Okay, and very common. I would like to say that even Thailand like we use this like we don't use we follow this one like but exactly the same process. Okay, uh, first is did the mean mitigation action to MRV A B it implement MRV C it what. Approval of MRV. So in uh, what determination of mitigation, there will be A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. Okay. Implement also B1, B2, 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 B2. Right. Approval of MRV is C1, C2, C3. Okay. Right. I think this is quite common. And by accident, that if, uh, when uh, what, uh, uh, what Thailand focal point, ONEP, and what? Uh, what TGO like as you know, chat at uh, long page sound. Okay, work from TGO, work out with uh, focal point ONEP and ministry, chat at Ministry of Energy, set up MRV process for Thailand in any sector in the first time. Like the process almost exactly like the same as what uh, the JICA like, did for Vietnam like uh, few years ago. MRV for policy, so MRV of uh, policy based mitigation in Thailand. So this one, I uh, if you uh, read a mitigation book, I will give the reference that come from Thailand, uh, you get focal point. Okay, work out with uh, TGO and Ministry of Energy. Okay, to report what NAMA tracking in Thailand BUR. Okay, we have this step. Step one, selection of what? Uh, GSG mitigation measure. Step two, what establishment of GSG mitigation baseline scenario for MRV and step three methodology for calculation. Step four, what uh, find out conversion factor uh, from activity data of mitigation. Step five, okay, uh, determine that amount of militant of CO2 reduction. And step six is reporting. GHG deduction to higher level. Okay, so this is uh, what the the four day camp that uh, Thailand focal point work out with TGO and Ministry of Energy for MRV in energy sector. Okay, so we have the process of uh, process the left column industrial structure and activity there. What activity data need? Uh, you can see the bottom one. Okay, activity data from each life measure. It can be uh, what the measure as the group cluster or by project by action compiled together up. Okay. And in Ministry of Energy, they have Office of Energy Planning and Policy. Okay. Take care of this like uh, information. Okay. And working group. Okay. And send to what? Um, uh, ministry level. UNDP also recommend MRV process. Okay, that very general. Okay, you can see start from national MRV lab one, domestic MRV, and international MRV requirement. Okay, because uh, you 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 nation normally like concern with uh, time policy in reporting, like so that why uh, what uh, mechanism they use normally just follow uh, what. Uh, the mechanism that already approved, set at Kinokat inventory report, set at national communication, set at BUR. Okay, set at BUR. This example, or even uh, national adaptation plan. Okay. Uh, section 3.2.2 preparation of MRV framework for appraisal of the bucket of uh, national mitigation effort under NDC. Uh, there are seven steps. Okay in uh, this framework. First is review of existing MRV activity. Second is what assessment of the arrangement for coordination. Number three is assessment of uh, 
uh, data gap and need for MRV. And number four is design of MRV framework for mitigation. Number five is extract between of data management process. Number six is enhancement of MRV capacity. Okay, number seven is what? Evaluation and improve MRV. You can see that almost be the same as what? Uh, the JICA MRV for the case of Vietnam or even uh, what do it f 2 c or even uh, Thailand case study, but uh, some process we call different name, but normally start from what uh, review existing activity. The last one will be reporting like the name inside the process, sub process, like the name might be uh, uh, what calling in a different way. So this is general instrument of MRV activity that for the case of uh, MRV of Vietnam that uh, work out with Japanese Saika. Like you can see we have uh, what the top one is MRV authorization unit. Okay, uh, MRV management unit have to report up to MRV authorization unit. Okay, there will be some feedback. The dash line, dash arrow will be the feedback. Like what continuous line, line uh, what show you what direction of reporting. Okay, so this almost be the same. Like I think exactly the same as the case of Thailand. Okay. And this is example. Okay, this is good example that general timeline of MRV for mitigation action that uh, the case of JICA like, provide like in uh, MRV like document for Vietnam. I think uh, timeline is very important. In fact, uh, the process that I mentioned, the case of uh, Thailand or maybe some other Southeast Asian country, like I think almost the same. Like, so we have uh, what you can see the procedure timeline of MRV authorization unit management sectoral. A is determination of action, B is implementation, and C is approval of MRV. Almost be the same. Okay, three main modules. Okay, so this is the concept that uh, what uh, our friend from uh, what Southeast ASEAN country can what uh, learn like uh, share the idea like and exchange like information of MRV because MRV is very important like under Paris Agreement because one item of is this one item of what transparency, okay. Thank you. I hope that you enjoy like uh, the mitigation textbook and I hope that like you will what read like the detail. Like if you have some uh, what question like uh, regarding uh, my what slide or regarding uh, what mitigation textbook, okay, that please like let me know. I'm pleased to receive like uh, all what information question from you or even you have uh, more advanced updated information you can what uh, send to me or CDC or JICA expert to update like uh, this uh, textbook that will be very useful and helpful for our region. Thank you very much.